Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to I Got Something to Say. As usual, I don't know what I want to say, but you know it's going to be real because it's coming off the dome, so it's got to be right to your ears. It's going, it is what it is. Um, as always, you can catch me uh, in my column on Examiner at exm.nr slash gkelly that's g-k-e-l-l-e-y you can catch out my relationship articles which uh, you know a lot of people are enjoying my late relationship articles um, no I don't have a PhD in um, social sciences like I said before I don't have a PhD in psychiatry psychology or whatever you want to call it I got a PhD in getting played <laughs> and I know that I don't know everything y'all don't know everything but the thing about it is, is that we should, should share information together so we can have a better relationship. I'm gonna share and I share my knowledge at exm.nr slash Gregory Kelly G R E G O R Y K E L L E Y and hopefully um oh yeah and I just reached one hundred articles so uh look for something special to come in the next couple of months because I I kinda had all this planned out. <clears throat> so what's going on um, what I want to talk about today oh yeah first thing let me get this out of the way so I can be sure Kevin Swanson um, fuck you I was wanted to say that you know Kevin Swanson is he, he, he has a, 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 a podcast and he has a radio show called Generations of Vision um, it's a Christian hate show as far as I'm concerned about it uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't do anything to promote the 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 prosperity of gay people. It doesn't do anything. To, it, it talks and then don't get me wrong. I, I give credit where credit is due. In this case, I have no credit to give him <laughs> because he talk he I mean though he may not share in the past history that he teaches about gay Christian about Chris about Christians killing gay folks. And that's cool. He may not want to do that. Like that's the fucking gold standard for him. For him not to be a, a prejudiced bigot. But still, it's a fuck you. So I wrote about him in my column. I hope he appreciate it. Um, though he wants to kill the Muppets because um, they, because Jim Henson's company decided to step away from Chick Fil A, which we need to support that, and we need to go ahead and uh, support the boycott. That's been that's been in the works ever since uh, Dan Cathy made his terrific blunder. So he talked he talked about being part of Numbala. Now Numbala is a uh, is a N A M it's a it's an acronym it's a N A M B L A um, it's an acronym dealing with pedophiles it's, it's, it's as far as the website dealing with pedophiles. So he made an indirect relation between gay people and pedophiles. So you know not every gay man wants to want to fuck with your little your little boy man. You know, and, and that was kind of wrong for him to do that, because you know, it, there's already there's already a stigma, in in the, in about the gay community about, um, you know, pedophiles and want to play with little boys and all that. I, I've never want to do that. I'm in the grown men. I'm in the men older than me. So he needs to stop all that bullshit that he's playing. I didn't decide. I decided in my article and my column not to get into that feudal discussion with him because it would have been futile. The, the, uh, honorably, it would have been futile. So there's no need to stoop down to his level. Um, also, yeah, I just got something in the works too. Um, one of my, one of my, my I call him my big sister, C D Curvin, uh, Chaz. Thank you, mwah, thank you, big sister, for telling me about this. Um, there is a Jane Doe. In Texas, um, in Ellis County, if I, I'm, I'm gonna write an article about it tonight. I'll, I'll get it out tomorrow morning. Um, I want everybody to know this and look for the article. Uh, I'll post the I'll post the um, uh, pictures of the Jane Doe, the, the sketches that they have. But that's another um, sister, another gay sister, dead. You know, if you if you count Mary Olgan. If you can monitor Molly Olgan, Mary Christine Chapel, remember Molly Olgan, those are the two, that's the two sisters, Latino sisters that got, ki got killed um, in Portland, Texas. This is in Ellis, Texas. Remember, they never caught the dude who did this to those two. So this could be related. And I wrote that in my last article when I talked about it. <coughs> um, and if you count the 17-year-old the, the girl, that's in Louisville. That got that was beat up by the four adults. 
our lesbian sisters are getting um, bum rushed and really uh, and targeted right now. See, they're not coming, and, and it's good, and it's good old gay bashing at its best. We thought that was gone because now they got the internet and we have all, all sorts of things going on right now. But because you can attack, a million can attack you at one time because all you got to do is put your face in a good line. And, and, and guess what? You a target for millions of people to harass you, hate you, whatever. But now we, get, we revert back to what, to what we know, the good old-fashioned gay bashing. So now people are scared. To get, people need to be warned in that area. They still haven't caught that fool. This fool could this fool who did it to did this to Molly Olgan and Mary Christine Chapel could be could have done this to the same black lesbian lady, the police the Jane Doe that they have right now. So look for that article. Um and, and as usual if there's any information that you know about this, please contact the lo the local sheriff or your local authorities in that area. Let them be be a part of the solution. Don't be a part of the problem, of course. Um other than that, everything else is going pretty good. Um, uh, I, I'm doing a lot of writing. Other than that, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get um, uh, my my first book out, like I said before. But I don't want to talk more about that. I just kind of want to talk about um, what happened, what's been happening in the news lately, what's been happening with the gay community. That's what I'm passionate about. That's what I like talking about. Um, everybody, you, you know, let's just keep it real and. I said what I had to say. This is a short one today, baby. Keep on the soul train.